Dear friends, I am Dr. K. Kannan, Professor Mechanical Engineering, Anjali Ammal Mahalingam Engineering College, Koyil Vinni. I am happy to meet you again in the video lecture series on the gas power cycles. And this is lecture number 3. The topic is dual cycle. So, we are going to discuss about the dual cycle. In the dual cycle, the topic will be covered the air standard efficiency of the dual cycle, mean effective pressure of the dual cycle, we derive the air standard efficiency and mean effective pressure and we compare the auto, diesel and the dual cycles with respect, with respect to certain common parameters. So, we recap from the previous lecture, previous two lectures. So, in the previous two lectures, we studied about the auto cycle, diesel cycle and we derive the efficiency of auto cycle, diesel cycle and the mean effective pressure of auto cycle and diesel cycle and the learning outcome for this lecture. So, at the end of the lecture, uh, students will be able to explain the dual cycle. Uh, this is at the Bloom's level 2. So, understanding, after understanding, they will explain the dual cycle and they will compare auto, diesel and the dual cycles with respect to certain common parameter. So, this is also at the Bloom's level 2 which is coming under understanding. So, the dual cycle. So, this is the PV and temperature entropy diagram, pressure volume and temperature entropy diagram of uh, dual cycle. So, dual cycle is also known as limited pressure cycle or mixed cycle. In dual cycle, the heat is added partially at a constant volume and remaining at a constant pressure. So, the processes so, 1 to 2 is isentropic process, 2 to 3 is constant volume heat addition, 3 to 4 it is constant pressure heat addition and 4 to 5 it is isentropic expansion and 5 to 1 constant volume heat rejection. So, there are 5 processes in the dual cycle. First process isentropic compression where the pressure increases, volume decreases temperature increases and entropy remains constant. So, this is isentropic process, uh, there is no heat transfer, reversible adiabatic process. So, the entropy remains constant and 2 to 3 is reversible constant volume heat addition 2 to 3. The pressure is increasing from P2 to P3 and the volume remains constant and because of the heat addition temperature increases and the entropy is also increasing. And 3 to 4 process, it is constant pressure heat addition process. So, the pressure remains constant, volume increases, temperature and entropy also increasing due to the heat addition process. And uh, 4 to 5 is isentropic expansion. So, it is expansion process. So, the pressure decreases, volume increases and the temperature decreases and the entropy remains constant for isentropic process. And finally, we have 5 to 1 reversible constant volume heat rejection where the pressure decreases, volume remains constant, temperature decreases and the entropy also decreasing uh, because of the heat rejection from the working fluid. So, there are 5 processes. Now, we have to derive the efficiency of the dual cycle. We calculate the heat supplied. So, there are 2 stages of heat supply. Heat supply in the 2 to 3 process and heat supply in 3 to 4 process. So, Q23 plus Q234 equal to MCV. 2 to 3 is constant volume process, MCV into T3 minus T2, and 3 to 4 is constant pressure process, MCP into T4 minus T3. And the amount of heat rejected, it is in the 5 1 process. So, MCV constant volume heat rejection, so MCV into T5 minus T1. So, the efficiency of the dual cycle is given by, so as usual for any thermodynamic cycle. Efficiency equal to net to work done divided by the heat supply. So, from the first law, the net to work done equal to uh, heat supply minus heat rejected divided by the heat supply. So, this is equal to 1 minus QR by QS, which is 1 minus heat rejection equal to MCV into T5 minus T1 and the heat supply equal to MCV into T3 minus T2 plus MCP into T4 minus T3. So, M is getting cancelled. So, the Cv is taken to the denominator. So, Cv by Cv equal to 1. So, 1 minus T5 
T5 minus T1 divided by T3 minus T2 plus Cp by Cv equal to gamma. So, gamma into T4 minus T3. Now, we have to calculate 5 temperatures. So, there are 5 temperatures involved. So, measuring the temperature in a thermodynamic cycle is not possible. So, we have to convert this equation into measurable quantity. So, for every process, we convert this equation uh, in terms of pressure ratio, volume ratio or the compression ratio. First of all, the adiabatic compression process. So, we have the relationship between temperature and, the vol temperature and the volume. T2 by T1 equal to V1 by V2 to the power gamma minus 1. So, we know in the thermodynamic cycle, V1 by V2 equal to the compression ratio R. So, R to the power gamma minus 1. So, T2 equal to T1 into R to the power gamma minus 1. So, this is the T2 in terms of T1. Then we take the constant volume heat addition process. So, 2 to 3. So, for constant volume process, the relation between pressure and temperature T3 by T2 equal to P3 by P2, which is called as pressure ratio Rp. So, Rp equal to P3 by P2. Now, T3 equal to T2 into Rp. So, T2 from the previous equation, T1 into R to the power gamma minus 1. So, T1 into R to the power gamma minus 1 into Rp. Then we take the constant pressure uh, heat addition process 3 to 4. So, here for constant pressure process, relationship between temperature and the volume, uh, T4 by T3 equal to V4 by V3 equal to Rc, cutoff ratio, already we defined the cutoff ratio in the diesel cycle, uh, V4 by V3 equal to cutoff ratio here. So, T4 now from this equation, T4 equal to T3 into Rc. So, T3 equal to from the previous equation, T3 equal to T1 R to the power gamma minus 1 into Rp into Rc. So, T4 equal to T1 R to the power gamma minus 1 into Rp into Rc. For adiabatic expansion process 4 to 5, so we take T5 by T4 equal to V4 by V5 to the power gamma minus 1. We know that V5 equal to V1, so V4 as it is. Now, I multiply by V3, both the numerator and denominator, V3 by V3. Now, V4 by V1, it is it is remains if V4 by V1 and this V3 equal to V2 for constant volume plus 2 to 3, V3 equal to V2. Now, from this equation, V4 by V3, V4 by V4 by V3 equal to RC. V, V2 by V1 equal to 1 by R. So, actually V1 by V2 equal to R. So, V2 by V1 equal to 1 by R. So, Rc by R to the power gamma minus 1. So, T5 equal to T4 into Rc by R to the power gamma minus 1. So, T4 from the previous equation. So, T1 into R to the power gamma minus 1 into Rp into Rc into Rc by R to the power gamma minus 1. Simplifying this equation. It will be T1 into Rp into Rc to the power gamma. So, we have all the temperatures now. So, T1, T2, T2 in terms of T1, T3 in terms of T1, T4 in terms of T1, T5 also in terms of T1. So, you substitute in this equation. So, this is the efficiency of the dual cycle. So, we substitute all the temperature T5, T3, T2, T4, T3 in terms of T1 and simplifying we will get efficiency of dual cycle equal to 1 by R to the power gamma minus 1 into Rp, Rc to the power gamma minus 1 divided by Rp minus 1 plus gamma into Rp into Rc minus 1. So, this is the efficiency of dual cycle. And this efficiency derivation, uh, normally uh, it, is, uh, it is important. So, you just to work it out and we try to derive the efficiency of the dual cycle. Then we calculate the net to work output of the dual cycle is given by net to work output equal to P3 into V4 minus V3 plus P4 V4 minus P5 V5 divided by gamma minus 1 plus P2 V2 minus P1 V1 divided by gamma minus 1. So, substituting the values and simplifying this is the net to work done. Then the mean effective pressure of the dual cycle is given by net to work output divided by the sub to volume. So, this term you have to remember mean effective pressure equal to net to work output divided by the sub to volume. So, mean effective pressure equal to substituting net to work output and the sub to volume, you will get 
ఎంఈపి ఈక్వల్ టు పి వన్ ఇంటూ గామా ఇంటూ ఆర్పి ఇంటూ ఆర్ టు ది పవర్ గామా ఇంటూ ఆర్సి మైనస్ వన్ ప్లస్ ఆర్ టు దివర్ గామా ఇంటూ ఆర్పి మైనస్ వన్ మైనస్ ఆర్ ఇంటూ ఆర్పి ఆర్సి టు ది పవర్ గామా మైనస్ వన్ డివైడ్ బై గామా మైనస్ వన్ ఇంటూ ఆర్ మైనస్ వన్ అండ్ దిస్ ఈక్వేషన్ యూ హావ్ టు రిమెంబర్ మీన్ ఆఫ్ ఎట్టి ప్లస్ ఈక్వల్ టు నెట్ వర్క్ అవుట్ ఫుట్ డివైడ్ బై ది సఫ్ట్ వాల్యూమ్ దట్ యూ హావ్ టు రిమెంబర్ so as far as dual cycle is concerned so you have to remember the pvts diagram you have to remember the pvts diagram and you have to remember this table uh, when you draw the table correctly write down the given given information here so that is the explanation for the dual cycle then you have to derive the efficiency of the dual cycle and uh, with respect to the mean of entropy pressure you remember this equation so using this equation we can solve the problem then now we start the comparison between auto cycle diesel cycle and dual cycle we we'll discuss the three cycles now we compare all the three cycles so first parameter for comparison we as we compare with respect to same compression ratio and the heat rejection and what is compression ratio v1 by v2 this process v1 by v2 that is compression so the compression ratio remains the same and the same heat rejection so for all the three cycles the 1 to 2 line is common 1 to 2 line is common and the heat rejection 5 to 1 line is common 5 to 1 line is common so the condition is same compression ratio and same heat rejection now from this diagram the auto cycle is 1 2 6 5 1 so isentropic compression constant volume heat addition isentropic expansion constant volume heat rejection that is the auto cycle diesel cycle is 1 2 7 5 so isentropic compression constant pressure heat addition isentropic expansion constant volume heat rejection and the dual cycle is 1 2 3 4 5 isentropic compression 2 to 3 constant volume heat addition 3 to 4 constant pressure heat addition and 4 to 5 isentropic expansion so these are all the three cycles auto cycle diesel cycle and dual cycle and the corresponding temperature entropy diagram so 1 to 2 it is common for all the cycle so 1 to 2 isentropic compression for auto cycle 2 to 6 heat addition at constant volume 625 625 it is isentropic expansion and for diesel cycle 1 to 2 2 to 7 and 7 to 5 and for dual cycle 1 to 2 2 to 3 3 to 4 and 4 to 5 now for the condition so now how to calculate the efficiency efficiency equal to work done divided by the heat supply work done divided by the heat supply so for the compression ratio constant compression ratio and heat rejection for the same heat rejection the heat say higher the heat addition then the cycle efficiency will be higher refer to the diagram heat rejection is the same when the heat addition is more the efficiency will be higher so among the three cycles 2 to 6 the line 2 to 2 to 6 will have the maximum heat transfer because the area under the area under, under the ts diagram represents the heat transfer and the area enclosed by the ts diagram it is what the net heat transfer so 2 to 6 will have the the process with the cycle 2 to 6 will have the highest heat transfer the efficiency will be highest so 2 to 6 is auto cycle and uh, next efficiency will be 2 3 4 the area under 2 3 4 will be more so for dual cycle the third is diesel cycle so from the ts diagram the area under 26272342 are heat addition during the auto cycle diesel cycle and the dual cycle respectively for the same heat rejection the compression ratio what we can conclude is auto cycle efficiency will be the highest then diesel cycle efficiency will be the lowest and in between we will have the dual cycle efficiency so auto cycle efficiency is greater than dual cycle efficiency is greater than diesel cycle efficiency this is the condition same compression ratio and same heat rejection now we take the another parameter for comparison so compare comparison for same maximum pressure and maximum temperature so look at the diagram so pressure volume diagram temperature entropy diagram 
maximum pressure is the same maximum pressure is the same and the maximum temperature of t4 is also the same so p7 equal to p3 equal to p4 and uh, t4 is the maximum temperature these two are constant so what is auto cycle 1 to 2 isentropic compression sorry 1 to 6 isentropic compression 6 to 4 the constant volume heat addition and 4 to 5 and 5 to 1 diesel, diesel cycle 1 to 7 7 to 4 and 4 to 5 so 1 to 7 and the 7 to 4 constant pressure heat addition then isentropic expansion then the heat rejection diesel cycle 1 to 2 2 to 3 3 to 4 and 4 to 5 now the corresponding uh, temperature entropy diagram. So for auto cycle, 1 to 6, 6 to 4, 4 to 5. For diesel cycle, 1 to 7, 7 to 4, 4 to 5. For diesel cycle, 1 to 2, 2 to 3, 3 to 4, 4 to 5 and 5 to 1. So, for the same maximum pressure in the temperature, the cycle efficiencies will be higher for a higher heat addition. Similarly, higher heat addition. Now, which cycle has the higher heat addition? The cycle with the 7-4, which is dual cycle. Then, next one is 2-3-4, which is dual cycle. And third one is 6-4, which is the auto cycle. So, based on this parameter, comparison with respect to same maximum pressure and temperature, diesel cycle will have the highest efficiency. And auto cycle will have the lowest efficiency and dual cycle will have in between. So, diesel cycle efficiency is greater than dual cycle efficiency is greater than auto cycle efficiency. So, these are the two parameter, common parameter uh, with respect to we compare the, the three thermodynamic, three thermodynamic gas power cycles. And if we stop here. So, we have a reflection spot. So, we try to answer uh, one or two questions to one, to uh, I mean to realize our understanding on the subject. The first question is for the same compression issue and heat rejection. So just now you listen to the uh, lecture uh, video. So if you are remembering correctly, the C is the correct. Auto cycle efficiency is greater than dual cycle efficiency is greater than diesel cycle efficiency for same compression issue and heat rejection. And for same maximum pressure, the maximum temperature, heat reject, maximum temperature and the heat rejection. And when you remember, so B is the correct answer. Diesel cycle efficiency will be higher than the dual cycle efficiency, will be higher than the auto cycle efficiency. So we stop here. So these are all the books which you can refer for further reading on this subject. So I have published a book on thermal engineering. You can refer to it or you can refer to other uh, thermodynamics or thermal engineering book for more information on the dual cycle. I conclude with a statement from Dr. Kalam. Dream is not which you see while sleeping. It is something that does not let you sleep. So, work hard for your better future. And these are all the books I have published earlier on the mechanical engineering subject. Design of transmission system, turbo machines, heat and mass transfer operations research, gas dynamics and jet propulsion, thermal engineering and the fluid mechanics and machines. I have a YouTube channel. So, the lectures, the term, I mean the video lectures of all the subjects are available in the YouTube channel and the solutions for the gate questions are also available in the YouTube channel. You subscribe the channel, you can listen to the various video lectures for your better learning on mechanical engineering. So, thank you for watching. You please post your comments on the comments box on the YouTube video. You can write to my mail ID or WhatsApp number for any clarification. Thank you. We will meet again.